Well, I've made a little bit more progress in the dismantling of this uh, BSA A65 Spitfire bottom end. And I've now got the uh, gear cluster out. And I haven't cleaned anything at all. There's some of those bits of s stuff that looks like uh, either <laughs> grated cheese or sawdust. And... Um, there's some rather unpleasant browny grey stuff in the bottom there. Here's the um, gearbox assembly though. And um, this is what was proving difficult to sort of turn. And while it was connected to the engine via the primary drive, it made it seem like the engine may have had a tight spot. Uh, but it's all down to the contents of the gearbox here. And there's a lot of rust. There's a selector fork. It appears to be perhaps stuck on the shaft a little, trapped by rust. It'll probably clean up. We've got rust there in the selector tracks where the selector's running them. And also, if I turn this lot over, we've got rust between some gear teeth, which is also going to be a sort of obstruction and prevent smooth and easy turning of the shafts and the gears. So... The gears themselves, at a glance, look like they're in reasonably good shape and should probably clean up. Um, there's no play in that main shaft sleeve gear bearing, but there's a bit of a rumble when you turn it, so I'll be having a close look at the bearings. and uh, More than likely, we'll change them all, I think, going by the early signs here. I'm not quite sure what's gone on to cause all this rust whether it's uh, the gearbox has been emptied of oil for a long time and there's been a load of condensation in there or whether the engine's been in a bike that's perhaps even laid on its side or something with an empty gearbox and perhaps weather has got in somehow or other perhaps a filler cap has been left out i don't know uh, who knows what happened to it but i've never before seen this on one of these engines at least um, usually usually the gearbox well outlasts the engine side of things but uh, in this case I think the crank the main bearing the timing side bush even the big ends were all in very good shape I've already discussed my findings there I think but um, now I'm gonna get this gearbox dismantled and go through everything with a fine tooth comb check out all the gears bearings and so on whatever it needs to make it good again i don't think i'll need to replace any gears uh, looking at things at this stage but a closer look will determine whether i'm right or wrong with that so there we are time to sort of dismantle this lot now and clean everything up and get that uh, main shaft sleeve out of there and also the bearing i would think and go through the lot